to all my friends in digital learning land. It's me, Missy. I'm here to read you a book from one of my favorite authors, Peter H. Reynolds. And the book is called The Word Collector. He wrote and illustrated all the pictures. The Word Collector by Peter Hamilton Reynolds. Collectors collect things. Some people collect stamps. Some people collect coins. Others collect rocks. Some collect art. Some collect bugs. Others collect baseball cards. Some people collect comic books. And Jerome what did he collect? Jerome collected words. This word that he wrote says wonder. He collected words he heard. My trip to Peru was perfectly pleasant. So he wrote down Peru. Certain words caught his attention. He collected words he saw, and this sign says Willow Tea Shop, so he wrote down Willow. Certain words jumped out at him. He collected words he read. He's reading The Wizard of Oz, and he's writing down the word Emerald. Certain words popped off the page. Short and sweet words. Spark, bloom, drift, dream, two syllable treats, treasure, motif, candid, hover, glimmer, whisper, and multi syllable words that sounded like little songs. Guacamole, geometry, kaleidoscope. Wonderful symphony. There were words he did not know the meaning of at first, but they were marvelous to say. Aromatic, vociferous, effervescent. There were words whose sounds were perfectly suited to their meaning. Tyrannosaurus Rex, Torrential, Molasses, Smudge, Bellow. Jerome filled his scrapbooks with more and more of his favorite words. Jerome's collections grew. He began organizing them. Dreamy, science. Sad, action, poetic. One day, while transforming them, Jerome slipped and his words went flying. As he began to pick them up, he noticed his collections had become jumbled. Big words next to little words, sad words next to dreamy words. Jerome began stringing words together. Whisper symphony, electric peace, savor dreams, cascading stars. Words he had not imagined being side by side. He used his words to write poems. He used his poems to make songs. They moved. They delighted. Some of his simplest words were his most powerful. I understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. You matter. Jerome eagerly collected more and more of his favorite words. The more words he knew, the more clearly he could share with the world. 
what he was thinking, feeling, and dreaming. One breezy afternoon, Jerome climbed the highest hill, pulling a wagon packed with his word collection. He smiled as he emptied his collection of words into the wind. He saw children in the valley below scurrying about collecting words from the breeze. Jerome had no words to describe how happy that made him. Reach for your own words. Tell the world who you are and how you will make it better. The end. Peter Hamilton Reynolds. Hope you enjoyed the story. I hope you're having a great time at home and I hope you're learning lots. I miss all of you so much and I will see you later. Bye.